Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So, Mason and I declared that every Wednesday will be Corn Beef Hash Wednesday. So, I was at the store and I wanted to get a few things and I stumbled on crescent rolls for something else. And then I had this genius idea. We have, I'm gonna need help coming up with a good name for this spectacular idea that I have had. So, we are going to use two cans of crescent rolls. So if you've seen the Moss family, you've seen that they make a breakfast sausage cream cheese, like casserole using two layers of crescent rolls. So I'm gonna do a crescent roll on the bottom, crescent roll on the top, and in between it's going to have crispy corned beef hash, and I got this um, hollandaise sauce mix. I'm gonna go ahead and mix a batch of this up. We are going to get our corned beef hash nice and crispy on the stove top. And then we're gonna go ahead and assemble this delicious, genius idea that I've had. So comment below if you can come up with a great name for this, because we are on the struggle bus with the naming. But it does go with Corned Beef Hash Wednesdays. Okay, the direction said one and a half cups of, or, oh crap, it's two cups, so I need one more half cup of water. Two one and a half cups of the sauce. Doesn't really seem right, but. We're gonna do what it says. Try our best, right? One and a half cups of this, and let me go grab a half cup of water. Fix this up. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this together, and then we're gonna go ahead and get it on the stove and let it come to a boil for just a few minutes and hope it's delicious, right? Although this is already very thick. All right, let's go ahead and move this over to the stove. All right, we also got the corned beef hash in a pan here and that's turned on. I'm gonna keep whisking this a little bit. Get it all mixed in. Nice. Okay, now. I just used one can of corned beef hash. I think that'll be enough. I mean, two might be better, but this is the first time. <gasps> Sorry, the oven is ready. All right, two cans might be better, but I'm not sure. Let's start with one and see how it goes. And if we need to fry up another one, we will. But so far, we have all these ingredients cooking and the oven is ready. This is gonna go on nice and low just to warm up a little bit. All right, we'll be back shortly when we're ready to assemble. All right, while our other ingredients are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and open these crescent rolls up. Put them up the sides just a little bit. Okay. I did spray the bottom of this pan lightly with cooking spray. Where's the opening? I hope this turns up because this is gonna be super simple and quite lovely. I think. All right, we're gonna try to smush these together and kind of fill in the little gaps. It will be, like puff up and go together, but I like to try to get some of them. Okay, look at how easy is that? I'm gonna toss this into the oven for like just probably five minutes while the rest of the food is cooking. No, I lied, I'm not. We're just gonna leave it like this and then we'll bake it all together. All right, let's go check on our meat and stuff. All right, so while I was cooking, inspiration struck again. These moments of genius. So we are gonna take another package of crescent rolls. And then I have an open bag of chocolate chips. And I have about a half bag of these Werther's Original Chewy Caramels. So I'm gonna put, unroll them. And then when I wrap them up as like a croissant, or I'm going to put caramel, one probably one caramel thing in there, and some chocolate chips. So we will have a crescent roll meal. This is like a brunch and a little dessert. Are you excited? Because I'm pretty excited. All right, let's jump in. The meat, the corned beef hash, and the holiday sauce are ready. So let's assemble our new spectacular brunch idea. Okay. 
we're going to put some hollandaise sauce on here. Like pizza sauce, you know? Oh God, we're making a big mess, aren't we? Oh well. Okay, sit down, boy. Spread it around. We love hollandaise sauce around here, so I can't go too heavy on that. respectable layer, right? Now, I'm going to use my spoon again. We're going to use all of our corned beef hash that we made. Put this hot pan out of the way. All right, let's spread this out. You know, this could be enough, right? I think this is enough. I think that'll be fine. Next time, I think I'll do two cans, but for now, it's fine, right? All right. Take your other roll, crescent rolls, other tube of it, I mean. Oops, I wasn't supposed to rip that one apart, but that's right. We'll fix it right here. Okay. I think this is going to be pretty good. Let's set this aside. We'll bake everything at the same time. So I'll move this over. Now let's get these rolled up. I think these are going to be a nice treat. This can got a little busted up coming out. It hard throw it out of there, didn't it? Oh boy. Try to smush that one back together. Okay. Do you think one caramel or two? Maybe I'll do some with one and some with two. I like to film as I come up with these ideas because I just never know how they're gonna turn out in my own head, right? <laughs> like you, you can watch if I sink or swim on my crazy ideas but look how many things i'm using up i'm pretty excited about that okay. yeah that one can use two these are super sticky okay now i'm gonna go ahead and top these with the chocolate chips now. I'll do this one in a minute. Now these I think I'm gonna try to just squish in here and then they'll roll up along with the caramel. Okay. You get the point, right? Let's try to roll these babies up keeping our candy and stuff in here. All right, I think that's gonna work. I think so. All right, you get the idea. We will show you at the end what my idea, how it turned out. All right, our treats are out of the oven. Look at that. There you can see a little chocolate chip, the caramel in the pocket. Let's check out this side. More chocolate. Oh, you guys, these turned out beautiful. And then so did oops, so did our breakfast. Corn beef hash, crescent roll casserole. It is nice and flaky and crispy and nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and take a bite of each and tell you how they are. Mmm. A little hot. Look at that gooey caramel. That was super simple. You should try that. It's really good. Okay. Now we're going to try 
the corned beef hash crescent roll bake. I don't know. All right. Oh, my plate got a little crazy. Let me try to get my, you know, look what I did. It's getting a little crazy here. Try to get a good bite. Lots of sauce. Ooh, that's really hot still. <laughs> you guys, I'm a genius. Follow me for more fun, crazy ideas because that is the bomb. We might just have that every Wednesday instead of just corned beef hash. Wow. Super simple, super cheap recipes um, or ideas, I guess. Let me know in the comments below if you make something similar or if you have some other fun ideas for me to try. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.